Hey guys, it's Mods here. Welcome back to the new video. So in today's video, I'm gonna say with you a graphics mod for Grand Theft Auto San Andreas that looks far better than GTA 5. Not only about the graphics, also we're gonna discuss about its features, requirements, pros and cons, tutorial, how to install, and everything you should know about this mod. So I'm not gonna waste your time. Whatever you will watch in this video will be beneficial for you only. The more time you will invest here, the more knowledge you will get. So without any further ado, let's get started to the video, guys. So this mod offers you the realistic time cycle 8k water complex shadows and main thing it's the reconfig version of asset directx 2.0 cloudworks and ambient occlusion system requirements so just i can say it's not designed for low end pc users but anyway if you have curiosity to know the minimum system requirements then uh, here you go you'll need 6 gigs of ram i5 2500k or and a gdx 750 ti type graphics card So as we know, everything has its own pros and cons. So we already have discussed about the pros in our features section. Let's have a look at the cons. So I found only one cons in this graphics mode. So sometimes when you are driving a car or riding a bike, then its shadows are completely gone when your third person camera gets centered. And here's the example how it looks like. So in this clip, as you can see, when a camera gets centered, the shadows are completely gone. So for now, I don't have any type of solution for that. But in future, if I found one, then I'll let you know in comments or in my description. So if you want to watch that video, then please make sure to subscribe to this channel and ring the bell icon so that you may not miss any of my future upload. Now in order to install this mod into your PC, you will need these two files. Links are in the description, please make sure to check it out. So once you have downloaded all these two files, make sure to extract your optional file into your desktop or any specific folder you want to extract. Now once your file has been extracted, open your game directory and then open Slew as loader plus mod loader and then just drag and drop all these files into your game directory. And these are the very, com very compulsory steps. If you don't follow, then your game might crash. Now open your graphics fix and then accept these two warbase file. Make sure to replace your stream memory fix into your game directory. Now open your enb.exe and then just drag and drop enb.exe into your game directory and hit on replace if it asks. And it's a very compulsory step. So once you have done with your optional mod, minimize or close both of this window and then extract your main mod. Now once the main mod has been extracted, open your extracted mod and then open your game directory my friends. Once the game directory has been opened, open your copy to the game folder and then just drag and drop all these files into your game directory and then hit on replace if it asks. Now just simply run your enb.exe and your game will 100% start. Now let's see a gameplay. So thanks for watching till and I appreciate your patience you watched my video till end. So as always, I'll see you into the next one. Till then, goodbye my friends.